My name is Tom Weber. I'm with Tiffin Motorhomes. We have a brand spanking new 2023 Zephyr that has been totally redesigned. New floor plan, new paint, new interiors, new windows. Everything on this is new. You really need to come and see this. I'm going to tell you a couple things about it that we have changed. First of all, we have 12 different exterior colors now. You can pick out any of the different colors you like. And then we have interiors. We have five different woods. Interior colors. We have two different interior colors. And we have changed the whole entire uh, concept of this motorhome by raising the uh, chassis rails. We've thickened the floors. We've used larger tires. We now have a flat floor that goes all the way back to the rear, except for the, uh, the, the complete rear with the bathroom and the closet, the little step up. But anyway, we've given you all this additional storage underneath. And now we've done things like a little touch pad. When you use this touch pad, and if you know the magic numbers, and I can't show it to you right now, once that comes up, now we have a lot of other things that we can control from the outside. We can control all the outside lights. We can extend the awning over the door. We can lock all of our cargo bays. We can unlock all of our cargo bays. We can unlock the entrance door and we can lock it. We can actually lock it with a security system now. And with that, if somebody were to try to get in after you leave and you set the security, the horn would go off and the front lights would flash on and off. So it's a great security type thing. Now we're starting on the basement area of the coach and in here on the very first uh, compartment behind the entrance door, we have a Truma and it looks like it's a big ice chest. Well, it is a refrigerator or a freezer. You can use it all as a refrigerator, all as a freezer. You can have it half and half. It is just the best that you can get in the RV industry and especially for your tailgating. It's also on a slide tray so that you can get to it and access very easy. The next compartment we have is all storage with a slide out tray. The next compartment here is our outside kitchen. Those of you that really like to tailgate, this thing will pull all the way out to here. We have a grill, we have a induction cooktop, and then we have the sink with the hot and cold water. So you can be cooking your fish on there and then you can saute your sauces and you can get it all great. And then you can rinse your hands off with the hot and cold water. Next, I wanna show you one of the things that we've developed on our doors. People talk about our compartment doors all the time and how heavy they are and they're like an aircraft door. The one thing that we're doing on all our motorhomes is we're now developing doors that you can hold within two inches of closing, let go and they do close. That may not be a big deal to you, but if when, when you're trying to sneak out and go golfing and your wife's sleeping, it's a big deal. <clears throat> we have a gravity fill on this particular part of the, the motor home. On this one, we do have a transfer switch, automatic, and we do have the surge protector. The surge protector we're using nowadays is the best you can buy. It protects against high voltage, low voltage, reverse polarity, open neutral, open ground. There's nothing else that you can worry about on the surge protector itself. We come back here and then we have our diesel exhaust fluid and that is a 15 gallon now. The last storage compartment here has to do with our engine batteries and we have the shut off here that we can shut those off completely. Plus we even have a block heater that you can turn on here if you're traveling in cold weather and need to heat the engine before starting. Another standard feature we have on this Zephyr is something that I wanted to show you. We have all Girard awnings, not only the roof integrated awnings, but we also have the window awnings that uh, extend out about four feet. Now here's a remote for the big awnings. And then there's also another thing included in this. If you put any of our remotes on zero, that means that all of the things that's included in this little remote will open at one time. Right now, I believe I have it on zero. Let me take a quick look. And I'm gonna push out. And by pushing out, our TV door opens, our front awning on top, the integrated awning, the front one, and the rear one also opens all at the same time. Now, I only push this button one time. 
all of our different products in Gerard, if you push a button one time, that means that it has a motion sensor or a wind sensor on it. So all of our awnings do have that. And as you can see, it comes out a long, long ways. However, something that I have learned over 40 years of experience in being out in these motorhomes is that if you want additional room and you're out here in the daytime, you just go inside, you push a button, it takes about seven seconds to put this slide out all the way in. You have complete coverage of the awning with all your additional space here in the patio and you never have to duck underneath the slide out to get into your, your basement storage doors. All right, here we are at the rear of the Zephyr now. A couple of things I want to tell you about is that we not only have our regular cameras on here, but we have a 360 camera on board, which is almost like a drone standing over the motorhome and you can see all the way around. Another thing we have is the hitch. We have a 20,000 pound hitch capacity on this, so that if you were driving and needed a, a stacker trailer that you need to tow, it's all designed for that. We have an Air Force One connection so that you can hook up your towed vehicle to that, not cutting into the air. We're all set to go whenever you're ready to go. Now we're on the driver's side of the coach and we're gonna start moving forward from the rear cap and kind of tell you everything that's on this on the driver's side. First of all, we have a 50 amp cord here that's a real flexible cord. It does not stiffen up in the cold weather. We also have a cord reel in there, so all you have to do is press the button to reel the cord back in. No fumbling with the cord. Our diesel exhaust fluid now, we have a fill from either side, just like our fuel tanks, and you can fill this one tank from either side, no problem at all. And now I see the tag axle, so there's something I want you to know about this. Uh, Tiffin Power Glide, we have designed this tag axle now that it actually turns. It gives you a much tighter radius to make a U-turn. So that thing will turn to 15 degrees. So as soon as you're going forward, it turns out 15 degrees in the opposite angle that you're turning the steering wheel, giving you a much tighter radius to make your U-turns. As I open this door, I see that we have an aqua hot on this. This is an all electric coach, but that means that this is a diesel powered or electric powered hot water system. So it also has a loop that goes back through the engine so that if you're driving in cold weather, it will heat the entire motorhome. It'll also supply you hot water from your faucets or your shower, and it will give you continuous hot water to take a shower, maybe an hour, an hour and a half long. You're not gonna run out of hot water, so anybody that loves a long shower is gonna love the 600D Aqua Hot. Okay, we've opened another door here. In this, we have a cutoff for the battery, cutoff for our inverter, we also have two regulators. It tells me we have solar panels up on the roof. Each one of those are 190 watt. And that tells me we have six of them up there. The other thing we have are two white boxes up in here, and those are our inverters. The first one is a 2,800 watt pure sine wave inverter. The second one is a hybrid, and the hybrid is designed to operate only the front roof air conditioner while you're driving down the road. You never have to run the generator with this one. Also, we have a white box down here and that tells me that this is the all electric coach with an induction cooktop. There is cookware for the induction cooktop in that white box that you get with every one of our motorhomes. On the next cargo door moving forward, we now have the Dragonfly lithium batteries. Those are three lithium batteries instead of the normal that we use was six. These are the batteries that we can operate the front air conditioner while going down the road with that new hybrid inverter. Also, we have a hydraulic system here that operates all our hydraulic jacks and all of our hydraulic slides. We now, for 2023, have gone to all hydraulic slides in our motorhomes, no more of the electric slides. The only time you really need to check the fluids on this, which it is on a slide out, is if you were to have a leak or something that's not operating correctly, then you would pull that out. There's a dipstick behind it, check the fluid and you're ready to go. Okay, now we're in the most forward compartment. Behind this little plastic uh, cover, there's an override for our slide outs in case the spider system were to ever go out. We have older varieties that you can extend or retract by just using a ballpoint pen, all slide ins will extend or all slide outs will retract at one time. 
Okay, so here we are at the entrance door to the new Zephyr. There's something I do want to show you. We are now using double latches on our entry door and our compartment doors, actually. And it goes to a one and two position. The reason we did that is that we had people that were having problems getting in and out when it was in the one latch. Now we have the dual latch. You can actually close it that easy and you can open it with one little finger. So it makes ease of opening. Plus we've now given you a 30 inch entrance door so that somebody that may have some mobility problems, we can actually get a wheelchair through here now. We have something brand spanking new that you will really love. When you get inside, you're gonna see the difference in our windows. These are a completely bonded dual pane window that we have installed in the Zephyr. It's the only motorhome we're using these in, but I want you to see the difference when we get inside. They are absolutely beautiful and it opens the outside to the inside. Okay, now we're on the inside of the Zephyr and I'm sitting in the driver's seat and I wanna tell you this is the most comfortable there are in any of the motorhomes. We have heated and cool seats on these now. It is nothing but the best as you're going down the highway, keeping you nice and comfortable. We also have another little option here. It's the electric window on the driver's side. We can actually get a lot of fresh air or pay a toll if we're going through the tow booths. We have a digital dash now. The nice part about this dash is you can change the position. You can change all the colors. You can even change the needle colors. I always thought that was silly at first, but I met a man that was colorblind and he said that meant the world to him that he could now see the dash. We also have the cameras here in the middle, 10 inch screens, and we can show the 360 degree view so that it's like that bird's eye view looking around the whole entire motorhome. We have a couple other things I wanna tell you about. This is a cell phone booster so that when you're in this area and you need to get extra cell phone service instead of having one little bar you're probably going to have three four or five so this is a, a cell phone booster we also have up in this cabinet we have a wi-fi booster you also could purchase additional data from a 4g lte connection and so that we actually have internet service here on the motorhome also but you would need to purchase that Additional storage. We even have shelves up here where the big TV used to be. But now we've given you a big TV over here on the driver's side. It's a televator that it does pop up. And then we have the big sound bar above it. So you do have some really good stereo systems to listen to your TV and your movies. As we move over here to the passenger side, we have some new theater seating now and they're much, much wider. They're much bigger. They're very, very comfortable. And the thing I like about it, it has dual motors on it now so that I can control the footrest. I can control the back of it if I want to sit up farther, if I want to recline farther. It's just a really comfortable seat and I'm sure you will enjoy it. Okay, here we have the beautiful dinette area here now. We do have a big credenza we have the table that pulls out. We have additional two chairs. This is a computer workstation. We also have two other options, which would be a U-shaped dinette. And then we have another option that you would have a uh, dining buffet with the seats going this way and a computer workstation there also. But now I want you to see these beautiful bonded windows on the inside. They are dual pane, as I mentioned. You, it's like it brings the whole outside inside. You don't feel claustrophobic in this. It just gives you a beautiful view of the entire exterior of the coach, both driver and passenger sides. One of the things that we did accomplish in this motorhome is we've given you four different distinct living areas. We've got a living area, and of course with the driver and passenger seats uh, turned around, you can get additional seven guests in here. Then we have the kitchen area with the dinette and your cooktop and your sink and your stove, microwave, and then we have a dishwasher here, drawer dishwasher. There's a really cool feature to this that I'm gonna show you. When we close this and it's all ready to, to go, it's locked. I cannot pull that open. However, if you forgot to put something in, or let's say that you had a plumbing leak, there's a little secret thing. 
those of you that are old enough to remember this, there was a song called Knock Three Times on the Ceiling. You knock three times, it will unlock and open. It's a really cool feature, but only the people in the know how to do that. Here we have the new redesigned spider panel in a 10 inch pad. And we're controlling everything in the entire coach here now. The home panel is showing all the different temperatures uh, of the coach inside, outside, rear. Uh, it's even showing you what the temperature is in the bay where your holding tanks are. We're able to, to control lights here. We're able to control our aqua hot water pump, so on. Then we go to the next one at the bottom. These are all our lights. We can dim our lights. We can bring them back up. Uh, the one thing I really like is that now we have the rear lights and exterior lights. This is something that we just recently added. And I think it's a great feature is that if you're in bed, you have the same panel on a smaller scale. But if you heard someone outside, you could hit the master and it would turn all the lights on to the exterior. Real plus. Then we have the aqua hot, we have the shore power, we have everything if it's coming from solar where everything's being charged. We have our temperatures that we can set for the air conditioner, the heat pump, the aqua hot. We go to the slide outs, we can control those from here. We next go to all the shades in the entire motorhome. We can control all the shades at one time. So let's say in the main, if I wanted to put down shades, I just hold down. And now you look over here towards the big windows and you can see all the shades are coming down at one time. I can put them all back up. This is a master. Then the last one is for settings. <clears throat> I was telling you about the setting out there at the door. I can actually go to those settings and I can reset the entire door, the screen settings, the exterior keypad, wireless switches. We have a mobile app that we can control everything in the entire motorhome by your phone, but it is a Wi-Fi. It does not go to the ballpark and you control it. You can control it from the exterior of the coach. So now we're in the bedroom. This is the third living area of the Zephyr and we have what we call a smart bed. The nice part about this is that you can actually raise the head up so that you can watch the TV that's directly across from you. Uh, it will go up quite high. And then the nice part about this is, let me get to the button. Now across from the bed, we do have the TV I spoke to you about. We have additional storage. We do have a fireplace here that'll give you a nice ambience for the bedroom area. It changes colors. It does have a thermostat. It will supply heat. We are in the fourth living quarters of the new Zephyr, and this is the bathroom area. We have given you a very, very large shower now. Those of you that are like me, that have gained a little pounds as we've gotten older, we have no problems getting into this shower, turning around and washing. We also have the new shower miser so that if you're dry camping, you're not going to waste any kind of water. It's always going to go back to the fresh water holding tank. As soon as this turns a uh, light on, it will turn the diverter, hot water instantly. We have four different shower uh, heads here. And we actually have a little handheld that I know that the ladies always like because they're washing their hair and their backs and all that stuff. And that goes right up into here again. In the rear of the motorhome here, we have another toilet. This is a bath and a half model. This one does have a macerator built into it. We also have an emergency escape door here. This is really nice in case of an emergency. You just open the door. It's on a hinge. The bottom portion of the door pulls off and a ladder is exposed. It folds down and you can climb down to the ground easily. Okay. The final things in the back of this motorhome is going to be in these doors. I do have a washer and dryer stack washer and dryer. We'll have, then we have eight cubby holes for shoes and the ladies, I know that's not enough, but, uh, they're just going to have to cut down on their hundred pairs of shoes and go with eight. So this should wrap up the new 2023 Zephyr Motorhome. And I hope you've enjoyed the little tour. Please come see us when you get a chance. And we'd love to sell you one.